Hello, everyone. Welcome to week number two. I hope you enjoy the very first week about the lectures and also the weekly Java tutorial videos.、Uh, they are really created for your learning. So if you got any feedback or any、uh, improvement suggestion, please let me know. I'll be willing to adapt、uh, if necessary. Okay, let's go on to week number two.、Uh, we're gonna have lectures. We're gonna have Java weekly tutorial videos, and also for those of you who are ambitious, you also got extra、uh, practice opportunity. So let me go over them、uh, one by one. First of all, let me talk about、uh, your week number two lectures. So you got your lectures over here. So you got、uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven parts for you、uh, this week. We basically we move away from elementary programming, no, knowing that you actually got very severe limitation about what you can write in your program, what kind of problem you can solve. So we try to motivate about using conditionals, and then we give you the introduction、uh, this week. So this week we just introduce to you about the syntax for if,、uh, if statements, and also show you exactly what. Its meaning or semantics really is, and also we're gonna introduce to you the logical operators, conjunction, disjunction, and negation. This will be the、uh, first half for the、uh, selections lecture, and then for next week, week number three, we'll complete with、uh, many more examples to really complete the whole series. Okay, but one thing at a time. You got no、uh, as usual. You got your. Uh, iPad notes. So these are the annotations、uh, I I did、uh, for the illustration. I was recommend that you actually look at the notes. If there's any annotation that's not clear to you, you can rewatch the part of the lecture just to clarify, or just ask me. That's、uh, either way. Okay. So for this week, you're going to watch Java tutorial、uh, num、uh, week number two from part A to part G. Right. So that's already released on Friday. So hopefully you will get time. You will start that、uh, as soon as you can. And then for slides, that's already there. And then you you're going to post your question on the Google Doc just to help me get prepared to really help you.、Uh, so after a week, the next week,、uh, Monday and Tuesday, we're gonna have the Q and A for your lecture number two. And then I also made available to you and also the diagram. So this will be the the so-called flowchart for those of you who took a ten twelve. It may not be strange to you, but if you took ten fifteen or other courses, no problem. I kind of uh, uh, show you in a very intuitive way about how to understand the execution semantics for if statements. So this diagram will be very useful. Look at that, and also for the source code, I gave you a, a, like last time a Java project archive file that zip. So you can definitely look at、uh, how to import it、uh, from week number one lecture, and also you can download it from over here. And then you can. I also assign several practice、uh, practice problems for you to really complete to really use Java debugger. So in this week, so starting from Java week number two tutorial series, I introduce to you the ideas about debugger, how you can visualize the execution of your code in slow motion. It's a very important visualization tool for you to use. So anytime you want to, you actually get stuck. On the programs, and let's say Jackie and you also the TAs are are not not really around you, who might be your best friend, debugger. All right, so that's something I would like to emphasize every week. It's a very important thing to really know. Let me emphasize that. So debugger is really important to learn. All right, and also for those of you who might want to do some extra practice, you can look at、uh, tutorial video ten to seventeen. From the Winter 19 version, right? I spoke about it already. And if you、uh, are wondering about where to find lectures materials, everything will be in public domain, so that's in the lecture site. All right. So now let me just go over to talk about learning objectives for week number two very quickly. So we're going to talk about the motivation for、uh, conditionals very quickly. Many of you may have known conditionals or how to write if statement already, either in JavaScript or maybe in Python. But I would say, since you're a computer scientist. Everything you are given to do, you should always be suspicious about why and why not. So why do we need conditionals? There's gotta be a category of problems which you cannot solve by just using the elementary programming、uh, lecture construct. Otherwise, we are done with the course already, right? So you want to really know why we need conditionals. So I spoke about it、uh, very briefly over there, and also we're gonna speak about Boolean data type, either true or false. So we talk about integer. We talk about character. We talk about double. We even talk about string in the first week. And now this week we talk about Boolean data type, right? And now how can you actually、uh, write expressions that can really produce value that's of Boolean data type? That is, how can you write expressions which will evaluate to either true or false? So you can either write、uh, relational expressions 
or you can write logical expression. So now this week, you want to focus more, pay attention to logical expression. So that might be something new to all of you. All right. And for logical expression, you want to use logical operations. And so what do we have? We have basically we got negation, conjunction and disjunction. I define each one of them precisely and also thoroughly. And then it will be uh, and then after that, you will uh, I'll go over uh, example together with you. And this week, I, you can see that I really emphasize about the use of debugger. So don't skip that part. Right. After I trace the code together with you on the iPad, I was highly recommend. Look at how exactly I do the tracing on the Eclipse to visualize the execution in slow motion. And then please try to do it by yourself. That'll be the best way to really practice. OK, I'll do this. I'll try to do this consistent, consistently every week to really make sure you get it. All right, uh, we're going to talk about if statements and also we're going to talk about syntax and also its meaning, the semantics. And then we're going to talk about how you can trace the code. So tracing the code is a very important technique to pick up for this course, for sure. It's going to be beneficial not just for the first year, but for the second, third or even after your graduation. So on the code and also on visualizer, the debugger, right? I would say both are important because, for example, if you are given uh, let's say you're writing the exam or the written test, in which case you may not have enough time to really launch the debugger. In that case, no, knowing how to trace directly on the code or on the piece of paper will be crucial. On the other hand, if you're taking the programming test, in that case, you are on the Eclipse anyway. In that case, if you run into some trouble with your code, debugger, again, will be your best friend. All right. All right. So what will be the milestone for week number two? You want to get ready for lab number two is going to be released according to the calendar on this coming Friday. OK, uh, I would say finish uh, the uh, weekly tutorial video for Java, right? the Java weekly tutorial video. Do this first and then you want to complete the lecture series for week number two. So do this second complete in this sequence. That's that's what how I would suggest. After these two, you will be ready for lab number two. And also, you're supposed to complete lab number one, right? It's also due on a Friday, right? And then uh, extra practice will be video 10 to video 17. Let me show it to you very quickly, and that will be, okay? So now, let me bring to your attention here. Remember this uh, tutorial, right? It's uh, the Java tutorial created for uh, in winter 19. So now, for this week, I will recommend you do from video 10 to video 17 uh, as, uh, as the extra practice. And then what's required for you to also complete for sure, you want to do this first, will be your uh, weekly tutorial video, the same playlist. So you can see this is week number one. You should have done that already. So I want to scroll, uh, scroll down to week number two. You can see over here, part A all the way to part G. And then next week, we're going to release also week number three. We want to give you bits by bits every week so you can uh, get more and more hands-on experience for Java. All right, so let me uh, just return back to my notes over here. All right, so that's about week number two. It's pretty much the same as week number one. So now we are really dive into the real pace for the course. And then uh, we're going to finish uh, if statements in two weeks. And then we're going to go into the loops for two weeks. After that, we'll go to the reading week. After the reading week, we'll go into the object orientation for about seven weeks. That'll be the plan for this course, right? But one thing at a time. As usual, if you got any uh, problems or any concern, it's really better to uh, get in touch with me earlier rather than later. All right, off you go. Uh, happy studying and happy Java programming. Take care.